guys, so today, first of all, I have no idea what's going on with my voice. I'm literally losing my voice for no reason. I don't feel sick. I haven't been like screaming. I, I have no idea. It's just, it's just leaving me. So I'm going to sound like a bit of a man today, but I'm hoping you can overlook that because I really wanted to film my spring polish picks today. So that is what I am here to do. I may have gone a little overboard on picking the nail polish now that I just like organized them in front of me. Um, I don't even know how many is down here, but yeah, I'm just standing in front of my collection and picking and pulling and I'm like, yes, 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 no, that can wait for summer, yes, yes, and I turn into the crazy nail polish hoarder lady that I am. Also, when I put up a nail polish related video, I get a lot of requests for a nail polish collection video, and I do have that, I put it up uh, probably about a year ago, and I do want to do a, um, updated one because I obviously have gotten a lot of polish over the last year. And so I'm going to be working on that. I want to kind of reorganize it, clean out the ones I haven't used, and get it all organized. Then I will film that and get that up for you guys. But I will um, link the one that I've already done down below if you're interested. So with that being said, let's get into this year's spring polish picks. Starting off with Essie, this year, I, or this, over the past year since last spring, I have fallen more and more in love with Essie. Their polishes are really great. I find that their pastel polishes are a great color range to choose from. And so I'm still kind of working up my Essie collection. I really don't need any more nail polish, but um, if there's something I really, really like, I buy it. And these are the three colors I picked, which they make me very happy the way they all look spring and all. Um, the first one is a new one, and this is called Find Me an Oasis. I got this at Target. Their spring and summer collections are always amazing. And I know that there's another one that came out that I haven't even checked out yet, so I need to check it out. But I couldn't not buy this. It reminded me of Mint Candy Apple just in blue form. So, yeah, that one is number one. Speaking of Mint Candy Apple, this is one of my all-time favorite nail polishes ever. It's amazing. I've already worn it this spring because I cannot resist it. So, yeah, this is such a good mint green color for your nails and your toes. It looks amazing. When my boyfriend's mom first found out about my nail polish hoarding problems, she told me that there was this Essie color she was trying to find and she couldn't, and so she told me what it was. I looked it up. I found it on eBay for super cheap, so I got two, one for me, one for her, because I loved the color, and this is Co Cascade Cool, and it's kind of like a pink, purple, it's just a very, like, pastel pink. It's very, very pretty. It reminds me of like their, their splash of grenadine, which I also have, but that one's like a little more magenta-y. This is just kind of, it's cool, as in cool cascades. So I haven't actually tried this yet, but the swatch was amazing, and I'm so excited to put it on um, for spring and for summer. I think it's really, really pretty. Oh, I cannot stand the way my voice sounds right now. Sounds like I've smoked like 40 packs of cigarettes since the last time I filmed a video, and I don't smoke, so don't even get it in your head. In these videos, I always kind of like to include what's new, but also kind of what is a staple and sometimes really random polishes that nobody can get anymore. That's just my style. But um, I didn't, at first I was like, okay, I'm not going to say too many new polishes because I just put up like 14 videos of OPI hauls. But then I kept pulling things and now like they're all pretty much in front of me. So I'll go through them kind of quickly and if you're interested, I'll link all the OPI hauls from the past month in the description box. They've come up with a lot of good spring nail polishes and I couldn't help myself. So, yeah. Starting with the Muppets collection that just came out, I picked Chillin' Like a Villain and I love Applause. I love both of these. I'm so obsessed. I love the idea of like sheer pastel nail polish colors, but I don't want it to be sheer. I want it to be opaque. And with three coats of these, they are completely opaque. I've already worn I Love Applause. I put it on my Instagram. You guys were loving it. It's so pretty. It's kind of, I feel like it's going to be their new bubble bath because it reminds me of that, but it's like better. So absolutely this. And then this, ooh, this is kind of the same version, just in orange. It's like a creamy apricot peach orange. It's thumbs up all the way. So yeah. Next two polishes are actually from the Spotlight on Glitter collection. I only got two of them because I have a lot of glitter nail polish and I included them both in this video. The first one is my favorite one. This is called Blush Hour. It's a very pretty pink, purple, magenta, sparkly color. It is amazing. I don't know how I'm going to wear this yet, but I'm so excited to and I'm, I'm in love. So there's that. And then also I have Rose of Light, which is actually what I have on my accent finger right now, my ring finger. And it's supposed to be like a rose gold glitter color, and it's so pretty for spring, I think. And yeah, 
just loving it so yeah next I'm going to get into the Brazil collection which this was the one where I was like I'll pick one or two I picked five even though the entire line is good for spring and for summer because it's their spring summer line <laughs> but anyway I have been absolutely loving all of the ones I picked up I got nine out of the twelve <laughs> which is excessive but that's my life but um yeah so the first one is don't bossa nova me around and I love this I just took it off my nails I had it on I still have it on my toes it's so pretty it's a very pink beige creamy color and I love it it's kind of like a pink twist on um, my vampires buff which has been one of my favorite nail polishes it's just a nice creamy nude different color that is gonna like catch people's eyes and be like oh my gosh your nail polish I'm like duh so yeah next is just a step up in color from the last one this is called topless beach this one I bought obviously because I love taupe, light taupe colors, but I wasn't as pleased with it until I put it on my nails and it's such, it has such like a lavender lilac background. It's like gray, purple, beige when you put it on and it's so pretty. I was so obsessed. So yeah, I want to do this one again and get it on my toes too because it's really, really nice and it's just a classy color, I think. I got so many comments and tweets about this when it came out because I have been saying forever how OPI needs a pale orange. Like I was pissed that they don't have one and I, I would say it all the time. And in the Brazil collection, they finally came out with one. This is called Where Did Susie's man go like bango and it is a pale orange and i'm so excited i haven't actually tried it yet i was waiting for the weather to get better and it is sunny in california all the time obviously but now that it's like officially spring i'm going to be wearing this bad boy like nobody's business because i'm obsessed so definitely definitely check this out if you're into the orange nails i was super excited to see this when it came out this is called i just can't cope a cabana and it is their yellow from the collection i love yellow nail polish a lot of people are like steering clear from it and i don't see why i love yellow nail polish the only yellow nail polish i have is the fiercely fiona one which i held them up next to each other when i was picking this out and that one's actually a little more green than i realized so this is a true bright it's a little bit on the paler side which I like and I'm just really excited to try this then the last polish I have from the Brazil collection is OPI scores a goal and it's a very pretty dark purple eggplant color if you're not into the bright nails I think this is still nice for summer it's not black it's not red it's a nice dark classic color for your nails and it's just a different color than um, OPI's ever come out with so I'm really into this so check it out so that's it for the new polish that came out in the new collections now I have some old favorites and hopefully I think I picked some that I think I picked all of these that are still available which is good for me because I never play that into mind but I did this time so um, pink is obviously one of my favorite things to wear in the spring and summer I love pink nail polish so I wear it all year round but this time is where I get to amp it up and this is think in pink and OPI has so many good opaque pastel pinks and so I just wanted to share a different one than I normally share I love pink Friday I love pandemonium pink I love mod about you there's a bunch that I love, but I do really love Think in Pink. It's a really good classic, just bright pink. So, yeah, this is one of their staples. I don't know if it's part of the Brights collection or maybe the Bridal collection. I'm not sure, but you can definitely get this. And, yeah, this next one used to be my favorite pink until I discovered Short Story, but it's still very close in my heart. This is Elephantastic Pink. They're two very different pinks. This pink is a little bit more red pink. The other one is just more like blue pink, kind of. Um, but this one is super pretty. A lot of people love this one. I think it's part of their Brights collection. It's part of their Staples collection, so... It's really, really amazing. Check it out, yo. Next, I have one of my favorite nail polishes of all time. This is Dutch Tulips by OPI. It looks red, it looks pink. It's perfect, I love it. Every time I put this on my nails, I'm just like taken aback every single time. I love it, it'll always be one of my favorites. And yeah, it's just really pretty for this time of year. I wanted to include my favorite red of the moment, and this is Big Apple Red. I think it's their, besides OPI Red, it's probably their most popular red. So yeah, I just really love this red and I wanted to share if you're looking for a good staple red nail polish color. I picked this up last summer before I went to New York because it's called Big Apple Red. I like to be themed. I'm weird like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that I finally bought it because I've been loving it nonstop ever since. This is Gargantuan Green Grape and I have this on my nails right now. I painted it on my nails for St. Patrick's Day with the sparkle um, ring finger as I mentioned. 
and I love this all the time. It's a very good Easter egg color. I've had this for many years and it's just one of my go-to spring colors, so yeah. I have another weird, cool purple color, and this is I'm Feeling Sashy, which I think was in my winter polish picks now that I think about it. But I'm just so, like, intrigued for this color. It's a very different, muted, kind of pastel, kind of not really pastel, like a dark pastel, but then that's not a pastel anymore. I'm so good at describing things. Um, but I think it's just a really cool, light take on a kind of dark purple for your nails. I'm just, I love, I think it's very different and it's nice. And this was part of their Miss Universe collection, so I think you can still get it. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be trying that. Now I have two from last year's spring summer collection, which was the Euro Central collection, which was so good. And this first one, everybody's going to be wearing this spring. It's called You're Such a Budapest, which is amazing. It's like a periwinkle lavender mixed together, and it is literally flawless. And there's some shimmer in there. So you can't go wrong with this. I think it's flattering for every skin tone. And yeah, so definitely, definitely pick this up if you don't own it. And then the other one is OPI You're So Euro, which is this amazing electric blue color. It allows you to wear like kind of a dark color, but still have a pop on your nails. And it's just one of the better ones OPI's come out with recently, so I'm just obsessed, so definitely check it out. My last nail polish is a Deborah Lipman nail polish, and I went a little crazy, well not really, I bought two, but I went crazy with their Mermaid collection last spring and summer, and this is Million Dollar Mermaid. It's a really nice pale orange with um, darker orange glitter in it, and I just think it's really, really nice, and it calls for springtime. They have a purple, green, pink, blue, and they all just kind of look like Easter eggs when you paint them on your nails. So I think they're really nice, and yeah. Okay, guys, so that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for dealing with my man, Horse Raspy. I smoked 14 packs of cigarettes voice. Leave me in a comment down below telling me your most worn spring nail polish. I would love to see and read those. And yeah, please subscribe if you're not already, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.